In this video, we are going to look at how to code ICD-10 CM codes for Chapter 3, Diseases of the Blood and Blood-Forming Organs and Certain Diseases Involving the Immune Mechanisms, Code Set D50 through D89, and Chapter 9, Diseases of the Circulatory System, Code Set I00 through I99. Now, one thing I want to point out, remember that you can always find the chapter-specific guidelines that are also in the front of your ICD-10-CM code manual, the very front under the pages that say ICD-10 official code line, guidelines, and you can also find them in each chapter for the chapter-specific coding guidelines. Chapter 3. You can see right here, there's not any specific guidelines just for chapter three. This is reserved for future guidelines. And then if we go to chapter nine, the circulatory system, <clears throat> there are quite a few guidelines. Hypertension, you can see this whole first page is on hypertension. Then sequela of cardiovascular diseases, myocardial infarction. So I encourage you to read through the official coding guidelines for chapter nine. And just like normal, we locate our diagnosis by looking it up in the front of our ICD-10 CM code book in the alphabetical index. So for example, if we were going to code, let's say our patient had atrial fibrillation, we go to the condition, which is fibrillation, and then we go to where it is, atrial, would be next. So fibrillation, atrial, our code would be I48.91. As always, you want to verify that code in the tabular. So once you find your code in the alphabetical index, we always verify it in the tabular. So we're going to flip to chapter nine and go to I48.91. Which reads unspecified atrial fibrillation. So there's our code. So now I have three examples for you to go through. Please pause the video after each example, try to find the code yourself, and then unpause when you think you have the correct answer. So our first code is iron deficiency anemia. What would the code be for iron deficiency anemia? Hopefully you said the code is D50.9. D50.9, iron deficiency anemia unspecified. So to look that up, you always identify your noun, the name of your condition or disease, right? Which is anemia. So we're going to go to A in our index to anemia. And then once we get to anemia, we're going to go to I, to iron deficiency, and we're given code 50 or D50.9. And again, you always want to verify that in the tabular, which we already did. So the second example I want you to code is cardiomegaly. So okay, pause the video and then unpause when you think you have the correct answer. So for cardiomegaly, you should have picked the code I51.7. So I51.7 cardiomegaly, so to look that up, in our alphabetical index, we just go to C, to CA, cardiomegaly, and it also tells us to see hypertrophy cardiac. So then if we go to hypertrophy cardiac, We are given the code I51.7, 
by going to hypertrophy, then cardiac, I51.7. Okay, so our last case I want you to code, our patient has hypertensive heart disease with heart failure. And just a hint, there are two codes for this one. So hypertension, heart disease with heart failure. Pause the video and unpause when you think you have the correct answer. So for this case, you should have coded two codes, I11.0 for hypertensive heart disease with heart failure. And it tells us to use an additional code to identify the type of heart failure. So our second code to identify the heart failure is I50.9, heart failure unspecified because our scenario didn't say what kind of heart failure. So to look those up, you go to hypertension, hypertension, and then you would pick with heart disease, and then with heart failure to show exactly what kind of heart disease it is, it's heart failure. So that's where we get the I11.0. And then we have to code the heart failure. So then we're gonna go to F to failure. And then heart. And because we don't know what kind specifically, we're gonna do the unspecified, which remember is always the first code beside the main term there. So under failure heart, we get the I50.9, our second code.